Instead, though, it's Ducks who backs up here, kind of exposes themselves to this opening, trying, I think, to get a cheeky kill in there. Will find it. The MPX sing it and get Mango Fed out of the board and a rapid cleanup there from the Drexel side. The Frost Mat did come into play at the end, Binks, and it worked out. <laughs> And down goes Mango Fett. But the interesting thing is, you don't have point notifications on. So the attacks of Drexel are not going to know that he's been down. He'll be able to get back up. Immediately killed by Brain Axe. He's going to be able to connect onto two as he makes his way right on into the church site. All left up top to the Maestro of Pop. He'll be able to find one. Looking for a second. He's able to find it. Spraying down the hallway. This is looking a lot more winnable. The Fuser has been planted. Spraying. Trying to go long. The remaining two players have two Claymores in the way of Juanero but not necessarily have to use them. Spraying, trying to find these Ooh. players. Keep in mind, they don't have the outlines like we do. It's a lot harder to spot these camouflaged operators looking towards Moto, trying to find any frag, any damage possible because the attackers have damage in their side. They have time on their side, and most importantly, they have a lot of util on their side. And there's the ace of Quinero to put Drexel University onto a match point put together this puzzle right by guy coming in he'll be the one who does it sneaks up the stairs <laughs> coming from down below and finishes him off but they didn't account for pop i think they might have misdrone the alibi right there the kill coming in to punish them for their uh rather aggressive bit of play swaps back to the other side pop gets one more barely survives it doubles up gets another one that's three kills from pop here at the university of cincinnati bearcats are holding